Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Fool's Town here in City Skylines 2. Where we're now witnessing the brand new downtown area, uh, which has got some huge ridiculous skyscrapers, which as time goes on, we're trying to fill it up more and more to make it lo not look as weird as it currently is, because currently it sticks out like a sore thumb. But we're slowly getting there. We're adding more connections. We're enabling the traffic to flow a little bit easier. It's starting to look a whole lot beautiful. Now, in today's episode, we're going to hopefully build a train connection to outside of the region or utilize the current ones that we have right now. But at the same time, we're going to build a train line, a passenger train line, not a metro, not a tram, uh, around the area, the outskirts of Falls Town to kind of collect people to kind of transport them on vaster journeys and integrate our public transport network more than it has ever been integrated before. Is this traffic here? What's going on? Oh my goodness me. Whoa! That's crazy. That's crazy. Even on eight-lane roads, we got some serious traffic, baby. Which, the reason for the amount of traffic that we currently got is because we only have one, two access points into the whole of this area. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get the train lines all hooked up. We're going to create additional um, kind of junctions to the highway system to really integrate uh, the ability to get people in and out a lot easier in all directions so I can not have the sheer amount of traffic that's trying to filter in and out at the same time on one junction. Oh, it's crazy, boys. It's crazy. But welcome back to another episode. If you are enjoying the series, smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now I'm thinking... Do I do the train line first now, or do I at least create one new junction uh, over on this side? Just kind of create a little bit of uh, alleviation, and then we'll come to setting up the train lines after? I think so. Uh, currently, we've got three train stations going down here, which is passing through the big major city, which I like the run it's going to do once I get all the trees in. It's going to look nice, especially with the road, which I forgot to sort this all edging out, which we'll do today as well. And uh, it's going to kind of connect the train line up to a lot of the areas around the outskirts. What's going on here? Is this snow? Is it frozen here? I think the snow is either it's snowing, watering, melting. I don't know what's going on right now. But yeah, we'll connect up. There's a train line going out. Stop it off in the odd little communities here, there, and everywhere. It's going to be really, really nice to get that train line connected. So I think what we'll do then, we'll at least create one additional uh, road connection because we've got one up here, one over there. I, we need one down here because everyone driving along here right now is uh, having to utilize that one. Give them an extra one. We'll create one off this kind of highway road we've got running down. Uh, we'll probably do another one either on this junction or that junction. One's going to go um, here for this one. So it'll probably be this one there to kind of space them out. So we're going to get one two three more connections and i want to redo this one here which leads down to there and utilizing this road there as well just so we can really take advantage of what we've currently got going on so let's work with this one first and i've got some really cool ideas to what i want to do with this and it might be a little bit overkill completely over the top but i feel like we could do something really cool i'm gonna create a trumpet but now, this is a big butt, okay? This is a, a really, 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 really big butt. I kind of want to set it up as a reverse trumpet. Now, I don't know why. I've built trumpets in the past. Um, most famously, you can see this one over here. I don't think I built this one. It's what the game intended. And we got the, the, uh, the road coming up. Two lanes of a pass connect up, and this turn on and off. And for some reason, I want to ignore everything and create a reverse trumpet. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I think it might be fun. Now, you might be thinking, what is this reverse trumpet you speak of, Seniak? Well, even I don't know what it's going to look like just yet. So you kind of have to bear with me. You kind of have to bear with me. So what we'll do then is we'll get the two lane, which would have to be a single lane. We'll bring in the uh, parallel tool and just to double check everything's all okay. It's the right space, isn't it? Yes, one is going to be completely fine. So we're going to raise it up, and I'm not quite sure what this current height is. So we'll have to raise it by by a 30 almost. That's interesting. And then from this, we'll cut across, which will go to about there, and then cut across like that. 
okay? So when I say reverse trumpet, I mean going under, round, then trumpet to come back on itself. It's ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous. It really is. It truly, really is going to be absolutely stupendous. <laughs> Got him. So what we'll do here then is we'll bring this down now down to a 20. Right there. Now I'm wondering how many nodes do I need to go before I am borderline getting the snap just right. If I go by a six, okay, a five. Ha ha! That's how we want it. That's how we want it. So actually, I'm going to delete that again because I've got a kind of. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. If I go just to there, because the elevation change we can kind of sort out ourselves. So it's a normal trumpet if you're looking from this angle, but the road's going to kind of come down, bend, and then go underneath to connect to over there. Reasons unknown to me. Reasons are still unknown to me why I want to do this. I just felt like it would be a kind of a cool idea. I could actually spoil it. I can kind of bring that down there this way, and as it goes across, bend it around this way. So it's almost like an S shape. For Saniac! Oh no. Oh no, what's he doing, boys? Someone stop this man. Someone stop this man. So going back down to the one, isn't it? It's the one that we're currently working with. Yeah. And we're going to try and get the organization all sorted right now. So that went to just there. So we've got to try and get this round and to the same elevation change as that. But at the same time, I could, with the way it currently looks, I could also elevate this. Because that going under there, it's it's currently the right height. Unless I put it to like a 5 or a 7.5. Now, we'll do a 5. So there. If I did it there and then brought this to there, where does the bend take place? So the bend, the bend is pretty soon. Well, that's down to zero. Because I've also got to think of as well is there's a train line going to be tearing through all of this. So if I get that to there, right, and then from that point, moving forward now, we bring this up to a 10, which meets there. 12. Why not? Why not? And I'll redo them little sections there anyway to get rid of the concrete bollards underneath. So I've now got to try and bend this all the way down and around. So where what are we currently off from? We've got to get to here almost, which is a one, two, six. So if this is gonna work then, we need to do like a sixty-four. By sixty-four. And as it bends round. We go up to 20. I'm, I'm assuming that's by a 30, right? So that would bend like that. But obviously we've got to push it a little bit further down with the roads. But that's okay. We can do that. This is going to be glorious. I don't know why I want to build it. All I'm thinking is traffic calming measures. If I say that to myself, I, I almost believe it. I will almost believe it. Right, if I just go to here. Oh, why did that not work? Oh, I'm still on parallel, that's why. To there, to there. Delete you, delete you. And then if we just get this now all set up on, on the road here. So if I place you in like that, is that it's a 60, 60 by 64, we'll roll with it. Uh, 60 by 60, that works out well. Uh, flip this one round. Now I could do laid math. Or we could have like super long slip roads. We'll probably go for that. Nice. So we're just going to get this, which I might now delete you and you, that little bit there, to kind of merge into this. So... A complex bend? How would that how does the complex bend look? Okay. Uh 
not too shabby. We'll kind of go with it. So that sorts out that one side. That one side is now all done. Now, obviously, you could then bend it around this way to kind of connect over the top. But I feel like we're going to S it. Just for no particular reason whatsoever other than your boy has completely lost his mind. And I no longer know what I'm doing. Uh, so we'll go from here. So the elevation change is pretty high there. So we're, we're at a... We're up to like a 30 yard, but it looks like we can kind of drop it down to a 15 at some point. So if I kind of actually, if I actually come out a little bit further than this, so we're at about 25, we'll bring it down to about a 20 to about there. And right, normal bends now. We'll do a 60. Oh, this ain't gonna play out well, is it? 60. By 60. 90 degree bend, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. And then another 60. Oh, we'll go 64, that's fine. To there, but we're gonna try and bring this down. What's the elevation right now at 20? down to a 10 so drops down considerably not huge amounts but we'll bring it to just here where we'll now do the rest of it in a bend so a 40 by 48 that's fine that's fine flip you around and then do slip roads real quickly so I could make them super long. Do you know what? I'm doing them super long. There we go. So we now have... I don't know what you would call that. Is it overkill? Yes. Is it glorious? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. <laughs> and that's all that matters. <laughs> right, there we go. Let's now get the uh, this bridge all connected back in. So I've got to get this... Oh, this is now awkward because technically I could sink it down slightly, but I want to, I want it to be at a normal height. So if I just bring it to there and if I just quickly delete these roads again, and if I place the train track under first, um, where's the connection? So I wonder if the connection here. Right, this is the next problem we've got right now, is trying to get this. Through here, without clipping everything. Problem is, there's too many pillars that we've got to face ourselves getting through. So it might be easier to wiggle it now what we're going to hit here right it's not perfect but just for the sake of having this work just for now that's what I'm going with it's not I'll have to redo it at some point but not, not at the moment. i got to get all this all connected. Right. Going a longer distance might be the way forward. Right, let's not play games now, boys. Let's not play games. Right, that works, and in. There we go. <laughs> I've got damn the wrong way around. Right, play mode, we're back to normal. So now all of a sudden we have this glorious connection. It's overkill to the max. Right, it's completely overkill to the max. But it gives them the additional connection right now 
to the south, I mean, what do you call it, north or south, I don't know which way you would kind of count it as, but let's just say it's the north, uh, of this huge downtown area, which would slightly ease the burden a little bit. I do want to redo all this, but now I've got that in, I can breathe a little bit easier that we have some type of a connection that we should hopefully start seeing them utilize um, at some point. We'll put a little bit of fast forward. Let me just make sure we can see some vehicles use it so I know it's all okay. I just want to see a vehicle, baby. I want to see a vehicle utilize it. How long is it going to take? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> can somebody use it? There we go. So there's a vehicle now about to go round. Let's just watch this gloriousness. He goes round and round the merry-go-round. Up and over, back down again. Round. And he skadoodles out, baby. He skadoodles out. Glorious. Completely unnecessary, but at the same time, glorious. Glorious, glorious. Right, okay, so let's now sort out some extensions for the train line. So we've got three stations here, which we're going to keep in. Uh, we've got the train line that comes down here and goes this way. So we need to figure out a couple of nice little hot spots in where we can have a train uh, kind of come in and then skadoodle back outside of the region again. So I reckon where we have this cargo line tearing through down there, we could almost have a little turn off to kind of come in to drop a station around this area before it connects back up to the line going back out to going in this way, which, uh, to be honest with you, I could also make it go this way, passing through train line running down here, having a stop around there, up to there. We have a crisscrossing line this way, another stop along down there, over. Yeah, right, this is actually going to be a bigger job than I expected. This is actually going to be a bigger job, job than I expected. Uh, there are no ve current vehicles available. Consider building more depots to gain access to a larger pool of vehicles. What's this about? Are you on about... Oh. I need more trains on the train yard. So. Maintenance hall. Extra tracks. Adds extra vehicles. So even if I put it there... Okay, it does still spawn them. So out goes that one. Did, was it just one it needed? I think it was just one it needed extra. Okay, very good. So I kind of want to bring the train line through here then. Thinking about it. Which means I'm going to have to now slightly reorganize... A lot of my farming area. Which is quite sad. Because some of this stuff is now going to get oofed. Let me get rid of the snap in there. So if I go like that to about there. I'm hoping that is enough space there. For a train line to kind of go through. Um, so if that went there. And I'm now literally freehanding all of this. Right, delete, delete. I want it to be on the bend section. There we go. This is going to work out amazingly. Amazingly. Which makes me think, do I want a train station here? All right, still got to edit this, by the way. So this one's fairly easy to do. All right. And uh, can I, I can do them all, can't I? I can kind of connect to all of them. So if I went to there, got to push this down to there. Right, it should go for that just fine. Fingers crossed. Right, we have to delete this here to make it a bit longer for the connection for the road. Wait, why can't we go through here? 
Is it too close? To the junction? Right, let me delete it for a second. Just for, just for a second, guys. Just for a second. Right, yeah, it's definitely to do with the roads being too close to the junction. Right, off we go there. So we've got to get these now connected up. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Is it that the gravel road is the issue? Or do you reckon I can do like a normal road? An alley road. Hmm. What if I deleted, let's just say this here for a second. Curve too tight, slope too. Oh, it, there is a slight slope, isn't there? Surely that's not going to affect it, is it? Right, I might have made a boo-boo now. I may or I may not have made a slight little boo-boo. It's not a problem. Because we can have road connections come from other places. So if I went like this. And had this come down. Surely I should be able to kind of create a crisscross here. Curve too tight. I mean, I can't get past that anyway. Why did that make it like super difficult for me to build across a train track? Okay, that works. Right, we're getting somewhere. We're now officially getting somewhere. After all them shenanigans, we're now finally getting somewhere. So that works to that degree. Now, of course, there were vital connections here for power lines and stuff. Very vital connections. Um, you... Mainly this one, because this one was the one that went across that area. Right, how am I going to do this, then? Let me reconfigure the borders. Moving that back and that back. Can I just then throw a road cutting across now? Can we just simply connect? For some reason I can connect here. Right, if I run this back down again. Right, it's about to do it. It's about to do it. But I can't be too close, is the problem. So I'm going to have to kind of come to here almost. Right, there was a section there that was going to allow me to do it. Right, it's what I have to do, boys, unfortunately. It's what I have to do to get it to work. But we got there in the end. We got there in the end, but we didn't get here. Because for some reason, now we're not connected. To anything. Right, water. Right, we're back in business. We're, we're slightly back in business now at this point. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be stressful, isn't it? This is going to be stressful. So, I feel like we would want a train station around this area. I feel like we would, but the problem is, the train station is going to be quite big, isn't it, for a passenger train station? It's not that big. Uh, for us, I kind of want it over on this side somewhere, for the little pass-through. I really do feel like we I want one here, but I'm not sure how this is going to play out for the cargo. 
it would be a good start for people wanting to get to this area in general. Or do I force them all to use this cargo area? Because it's only a short drive up and round and in. Hmm. Do you know what? Just for now, I'm going to get rid of this cargo place. And we'll have to rebuild it. We'll have to redo it. So if I just at least delete that there. Having the road now come out. And for us to set up a little platform like that. And then to throw a train station a little bit further down this way. For the bends to take place. Just so these guys have got like a passenger connection. Because I want to have a stop there, then have a stop over here. Which will lead it off this road. So I'll just do that. Until I work in the, with this area, this is this is how it's all going to go down. Like that. So two stops around here. Oh, there's a big crash over here, isn't there? Holy moly. Right, there we go. Glorious. And I'll have to rethink and reconfigure how we're going to do the train line over here. Now, it does mean that I've now oofed this line, so I'll have to delete it. We're going to get this train line now connected all together. So we'll first bring this going down to about there before we then start the bends whoa that went really funky all right there we go boys oh i'm, I'm messing it up again now aren't i Right, we'll go with that, and I just want to get these connected in there. Very good. I've got to try and get this connected. This is going to be the fun one right now, this, this bend we've got to do here. Like that. I'm really excited to see trains going through the farm la uh, farmland area. Right, that all works okay for now. Um, get these going out either side now. There we go. Whoa, what's going on there? It's trying to bridge it. Terraforming! Right, fingers crossed. There's, yeah, there's no bridges. Nice. Okay, so let's get the rest of this now all done. So bending this hopefully all the now all the way around now round. So I'm not too I don't need to get it connected too close. To the the road. That all leads out beautifully. Right, we're back in business. We was in business. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing so far right now in this game is building train lines. Because they just don't seem to want to work 50% of the time. Right, okay, and then that will lead then out. So I'm going to have to obviously redo... Uh, down there but that's sorted this area that's not even half of it guys that's not even half it right now i'm completely missing a station around this area as to where i want one uh, i'll only do one but i'm not 100 percent sure on where i'm going to implement it it's a bit of a tricky one also th the snow doesn't help us as well because i can't see the gloriousness of it, where this train line would run 
But then do I want it to come all the way down here? Then what's the point of having to go down there? But then again, I can have like a little bit of a an end station and then it to turn back out. There's nothing stopping me doing that. Is there? There's, there's literally nothing stopping me from creating like an end station. No, there isn't. Um, right, let's just pull it here. Because I can always move it in the future. Just for the sake of getting a station up and running, I can always move it in the future. So if I bring this to here. Now, I've now got to somehow... Create... A bend here to connect this up. I, what I should have done is, is slightly angled it as it come down. All right, so go like that, and then we'll kind of get ready to angle it for the bend. Oh, that's the big problem. It's it's the highways the issue. <laughs> oh my goodness me, boys, save me, save me right there on this monstrosity right okay we'll keep it like that so we're just going to use it as like an end route an end platform end station whatever you want to call it until we've built the city up a bit more that's just how it's going to work well, that goes in like that, and that should do us justice. So we've got a load of stops there, stop there, two stops leading around here, and then we've just got to kind of create a connection coming back down. So we'll have to end up buying uh, all those tiles there. Let's just get that out of the way. We need to run a train line now going down, so I reckon, which will obviously come from this, so I need to also buy more tiles on this side. Which, thinking about it, I might just buy all the tiles there, where the train line touches. And then flip it onto the other side, which will be there. And then run it down that way. And then cut it across. And then get it to link to this. Which, I, I'm gonna delete this, by the way. We're gonna get rid of it. So, just for, for now, I'm just gonna do this, guys. Don't judge me. Don't judge, but that's what I'm building, just to get rid of all of this. Because we're going to create a better si uh, system for it. We'll create a better system for it. It'll look really good in the end. It would look really, really good in the end. And I can redo how this train line now exits the area as well. So I don't think I'll have this road connection, because that there could maybe... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with that. I don't know what I'll do with that again. We'll keep the ideas close to our chest for the moment until we figure out what we're going to do. So, this train line here would obviously run down like this. So there was moments there where it was okay. Like that, and then we'll do like a, a, a connecting section there, and that'll run down so we can kind of continue. So we, we've got train line that can go in different areas. Now, do I want it to run along this bit, and then we'll have to kind of like almost take it under, over, under, under, over Pepsi Cola? I don't know how that's going to play out in the long run. But to see a sweet little train line choo chewing along. How close have I got to get it? I can run it to there almost, but it's way too close. Right, let's get rid of the snapping. So I can get it to there. And then I need to kind of get it up and over. So if I go down it really small, so that's five. Six and a half, seven and a half. Right, 
right and we're back down again so that's gone up and over really easy there i've got to apply same logics coming from this so i'm assuming it's just easy enough to kind of go round like that so we'll just connect the train line and we'll figure out where we want a station how we're going to implement a station which is going to be quite difficult on that side of the highway so same with this right now we're going to kind of bring it under and then we're going to raise it up 0.7 to a 10 there that's really high isn't it So down to a five. Like that. So that goes through beautifully. So we're just going to kind of now come off this. And we'll keep it to the ground. If I did a straight line. That works wonderfully. And... Bending you in. Okay, so that line now runs all the way down. We've just got to create the connecting parts. So, through. And then that will... I mean, to be honest with you, I might just kind of cut it around as it goes this way. And then outside. So we'll delete this connection. Because I don't want it on that side no more. And we're just going to bring this up and over and then round. So that's connected in both ways. And then we're going to connect these here. And then figure out where we want our stations along there. Now that's going to be the, obviously the difficult bit. I can add easy stations onto it because obviously these roads accessing this area can have a road going down there station on the inside we've got one there i can do some walkable paths to go over but it's a case that we probably only really you you know in reality get one station in this area which is not a problem public transport people can walk i can maybe add a bus stop going over there as well to transport people over we can make it really really accessible so thinking about this now i'm actually might gonna delete this to here and then see if i can initially bring that train line to there to there where this goes to a 10 And then back down. And then we just whiz this round. <laughs> it sounds easy, doesn't it? It sounds like an easy thing to do. And it kind of is. I mean, it's not a big task. I like having this differentness. That's the best way to pull it when it comes to like building stuff. Because it creates unique areas and you can kind of do some stuff with it. Obviously, it all looks plain and out of place right now, a lot of this stuff. But there's not really a fact like you can do until you've kind of like built it up a bit more. So, let's for now then get a road skadoodling down and connected up to here. So, that is a four lane road. So, let's bring this for now further out. That there was a four lane road as well so we'll bring that further out and that's a two lane road i don't know whether to do a two lane road coming off this i don't know how busy this area is ultimately going to be but if i come off there so it gives us a little bit of space and we'll come off here as well and if i bring this let's say i had a little section just here which is pretty straight and all that. And then I 
wiggle off that, connecting you in. Like that. Something a little bit different, why not? Why not? So we'll just delete this strip to there and to there. We'll drop a passenger train station now in. So I'll throw it about there. And then we'll connect everything now into it. So if I go to there. Oh, there. Is that like sunken down? Oh my goodness me. I really need to build with the contours on, don't I? Right, smoothing all this. So that's as far as we're going to go. So this is a bit I, annoys me about the games. Like, it should smoothen that off, but it just doesn't want to do it. Right, and I'll build my station. Here. There we go. Right, as good as... Let's just get it all connected right now. It's taking way too long. Wrong style of train track. There we go. There we go. And there to there. There. Ooh, no. There to there. We're now in. So this one here won't really do much difference until I've got some paths and some other road connections and all that kind of good stuff to ultimately give them the ability to connect so it doesn't really reach a wide area at the moment. We're going to quickly create something here. And so that will probably obviously continue to extend down. So I'll probably do it here or no, I'll do it here, the connection. And what I want to do here is simply taking it from there. All right, we'll go there to there. And then just simply set up. Very simple, very easy. Little connections. Why is this now not working? Oh, there we go. And bam. Why is this now not working? There we go. Simple, but hopefully quite effective. So we've got a lot of stuff we've also got to delete under here by the looks of it. Or we've got to reconnect back up because it now no longer exists. Because we, we did a lot of deleting. A lot of deleting, boys. And... Is that all going to be okay now? I think so. I think so. So, can we now officially get the train line up and running? Have I now got a traffic jam over here? <laughs> Guys, you have the world's longest slip road. Why is there traffic? I can't wait until we've got mods where I can... I mean... So, it could be the node as well. But let me, uh, let me rebuild this in. Sometimes this game amazes me. And not in a good way. Right, now I've got rid of the node. Hopefully. Once I've now figured out what's going down. I meant to be building a train line here. Now I'm sidetracked by this monstrosity. Right, once they've all figured out what's going on over here. Once they've all repositioned themselves. I'm hoping we're flowing. So once all this is gone, hopefully it all just now flows in normally. Or so he says. All right, we'll come back to that because I want to build my train line. It's it's back the traffic all the way down here as well. Uh, passenger rail line then. If we start at this station here, 
and get right into it there we'll then travel up the line and have a stop here and keep it going to there which then goes all the way up it will bend round here go down in this direction to the stop just there and all the way down here again and as it comes down it turns up it bends round all the cargo trains might be using these new routes as well now for us it will have to stop on this side of it as it comes in and then scheduling down going ground comes down to here stopping just there noise going down does a round round this way back up now this is where it comes in here for the short little end route as it then filters back up going across uh turning off here going up and then stopping there now i do want to create one going in the opposite direction as well and then we'll control how many trains are on these routes. There we go. Leading all the way around. Oh, one just there. Uh, which then goes down here to the stop just there. I like how you can also use multiple platforms as well. It's really going to help us out. There we go. There we go, and we should end it in this one. Right, so passenger train lines, for the very first time, we've now got them up and running. How many trains do they want to try and utilize? Four. I will go with two. And to see what the demand is, because we do not have enough demand, I don't think, for all those additional trains. We shall see, we shall see. So as you can tell right now, it's like, there's not enough vehicles. But I can't, I don't think I can add anything more onto it, can I? I can add a maintenance hall to dedicate facilities that make trains faster. But I can't add anything else onto it. I've got vehicles in use. Five. Oh, well, I've got to connect these up. This is what I've got to do. All right, we'll do the single tracks. Right, that should spawn the other trains, right? Right? Are you going to spawn the other trains? I can have 15 vehicles. Or is it I need these to connect as well? It's part of the pain, isn't it? It's part of the pain of this train yard. Because I still don't fully know the full ins and outs, the inner workings of getting a train yard work like how you need it to be. I just don't know if, if maybe doing something like this is the best, better option. Alright, bring it up a little bit. Okay, maybe not. I'm just wondering if this would do anything. So now they can it can all go round and back in. Where's my trains? Probably transport operate engine line, set them up correctly, a number of vehicles automatically change based on the line's needs. Send the vehicle on the list, operate it. Right, I, where, where's my trains? You're telling me I've not set this up right? I've only got five out of the 15. Is it more employees we need? Is that what it is? Hmm, I don't know. I don't truly know on that. There's a car crash in the water. How has it managed that? Oh, good God. Oh, good God. It's all over the place, isn't it? 
it is all over the place so hopefully we should start to see people utilizing the train stations now now they're not perfect there's still a lot we've got to do i've got to get more vehicles on these routes but apparently my my depot i don't know what's going on with this for the rail yard is a bit skewiff and all over the place but it's only pumping out five i know if i if i move it does it do anything I wonder. Um, right, put it there, then move it back. Okay, now it's spawning more trains. We're not fully connected again. But just moving it and replacing it kind of seemed to work, fixed it slightly. So maybe there was something, something broken somewhere. But that's now pushed out an extra two. And I'm hoping that's the extra two that I need. Which I'm assuming it is. It would have been, yes. Yeah, we've got two in each line. Right, okay. So there's an actual passenger line right now. It's got eight people on board. So as it gets here, is there anybody at the platform waiting is the question. So if two people got off. Not bad. So it works. The passenger line works. Right, did this eventually sort itself out? No. What is going on? I think there's another node. They're just stopping and starting awkwardly. Maybe my slip lanes are too long. Have we thought about that? Well, the game is now froze. And it's taking ages to now simulate. But maybe it could be that. Look, I'm going to fast forward right now and the game is just stopping and starting. Right, if I look away, if I look up, oh, look at the trees. The trees look beautiful. And if I come back right now, do I catch them unaware? No. It just kind of doesn't work like that. It kind of doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, at least the backlog to the roundabout's now gone, so it is slowly dying down. And I wonder, guys, let me know what you have experienced in the past. Is it better to have the longer slip roads, shorter slip roads, or just do lane math? What's the, what's the best option? What's the best bet? Because I've used lane math, I think, on other junctions. Have I? Yes. But it kind of, I mean, you still have a few issues here and there. They're still going to, you know, skadoodle right on through. But what do you guys find? Lane math or slip lanes? The better variation. Right, once this backlog is now passed, we should be free flowing a bit more. There's just a few vehicles here now. we just got to filter them through. Come on, boys. You're almost there. You're almost there. Right, there we go. We'll still get vehicles merging in, but the filtering has now happened. We'll see what happens. Now, obviously, we're going to have issues moving down because obviously, you know, it's going to be a big problem elsewhere along here. But that's where I need to get more road connections all added in. So there's no stress. At least we've got a plan. The traffic has seemed to have died down, but it's not really rush hour at the moment. Um, okay very good he says very good i'm gonna redo all of this i've got big plans of sorting this whole area out and uh, no one's really gonna use this station even though people are also driving over here i think taxes are dropping people off which is the most important bit so let's see if i can quickly create some uh, little path connections i've got a couple of different variations of what we can choose like archways and stuff um it all depends on the approach so that's there it's just the the connections a little bit awkward so if i went there for the 10 if i did it on this side as well the slope is too steep apparently
Right, 7.5. Will that go across? Yeah, okay. We'll do a 7.5 on this one. So they're somewhat ideally the same. But that doesn't want to do it. Why is it that one side it has to be higher than the other? I, I mean, it, it, oh well, it's because the land's higher on this side, isn't it? Ultimately, that's what it all comes down to. 7.5. There we go. Because I've had to move it off the little sections there. So, I could bridge it over with one of those. Or I could do the covered one. Now, right, let's do this one. Right, I can't do it there. I've got to bring it slightly out a bit more, then bring it over. And then we'll bring it down to earth. So let's do a slight little bend. Down to earth. Like that. Same with this. Slight little bend. Down to earth like that. So there's two little crossings right now that enable them to walk over a busy highway <laughs> to access the train station a little bit easier. It just makes this now a bit more accessible. Now I could get a bus route to connect. Currently taxis are doing the job for me. So I've still got many kind of ways in which I can go about doing this. But they're just now awkwardly placed. There's the train line going through the farming area. They're just now technically awkwardly placed everywhere. And I did get rid of all my cargo on this side. So we're seeing more of them use this. I don't know whether this is still kind of slightly out of the way. But I did think about maybe changing something and building something over here for the cargo. So it won't be completely wasted. And um, yeah, it should be interesting. That train there has six on board, but it is following a train that's just left as well. So we kind of need to get them a little bit more spaced out a little bit. So not much time has passed by, but in the grand scheme of things, how many people are now using trains? So our trains right now, only 98 people. Now, what I need to do next is get a passenger line for outside of the region. So I'm going to utilize this station as being the one. Connecting up two and then back in. Wait, did that not work? Right, scrap that. You. Two. There. And then back again. So, oh, the numbers have increased 147. So I think we just got to give it a little bit of time to see the numbers change. Now, with having an outside-the-region connection right there, it means more people can come in. We'll use that as the kind of our terminal where they all crisscross on. And that should be pretty good. So I'm not expecting to see mass amounts of people using them because they don't really go to huge populated areas. It's more of an outside connection for large jumps in terms of traffic. This has now seemed to have kind of settled down slightly. We have issues over here with the vehicles crashing. I've got 126,000 population, and uh, I like this road. I really do like it. I like the stopping and starting that they have to do. But we need a proper solid connection here. Uh, another one there to there, which is going to give us better junctions. Sorting this out properly and having this passing through coming down here as well, uh, leading to the imports and exports. Now, I don't truly know how I'm going to end that. Because if I do connect to it, that all utilize that as opposed to turning off here. So I've got to be a little bit careful. So I've got some big issues, some big stresses, some big problems coming up very, very shortly. But it should be a lot of fun. Until next time, guys. I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.